There you go. What's up, squad? Uh, it is now 7:58 in the p.m. and me and uh, the homie Big G, aka Rhino, about to go down here and smash on some legs. Tried to get this in uh, about a week and a half ago, but uh, sometimes things don't pan out like you need them to. Uh, anyway, man, appreciate all you guys that's checking in to the videos, showing that mad love and support. Uh, just got done with the Arnold Sports Festival, blah, 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 and uh, now it's time to grind this out, man, uh, after getting all that motivation. Uh, got some good shit in the works, man. Hopefully, uh, we can get all this stuff underway here soon enough, uh, but again, man, I appreciate you guys staying tuned with your boy. Uh, that shit definitely does not go unnoticed, man. Uh, so if you happen to like these videos, man, and you want to help this channel grow, and uh, you want to help us expand or expand and uh, reach more people, man, which will be a blessing in itself. Either way, man, share these videos, man. I need you to share the video. Do me a big favor. I'm giving to you. Give back to me if you would like, man, and go ahead and share the video. If you can, I'd appreciate that. Anyway, man, we getting ready to go down here to uh, LA Fitness uh, and go jump on some legs. We're about to do some damage, move some furniture, shit like that. Uh, trying to get that squat game up. So you guys know I'm working on my deadlift. Uh, consistently now getting 405 uh, for the past two weeks uh, without too much of a struggle. I'm not really big on back on deadlifting. Uh, but I do need to go ahead and get that in to add some more diversity to the training regimen uh, so I can have a much more denser, uh, dynamic form in my back, especially in my back poses uh, when we step on stage again, hopefully at the end of the year. So uh, we're doing that. Uh, I, may, I may actually uh, incorporate a small off training for the deadlift. Uh, I've been looking into that. Uh, also, I actually have the program for it, so uh, I'm looking at some different programming for deadlift. Again, I'm not into powerlifting, but uh, to add that uh, dynamic to my training is actually uh, pretty beneficial overall. Not only for core strength, but obviously to build my traps uh, and to get a and, yeah, trap game and to get a bigger, thicker, more denser back. So not only does that help in that aspect, but it also helps in the squad game as well with a stronger core. So we working on that, man. So again, man, I appreciate y'all checking in. Uh, probably, I don't know, this probably be a, this might just be a raw cut video. Um, maybe a little voiceover. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Uh, but we heading down here to smash this shit. Um, so you guys, man, if you like the video, please leave a thumbs up, man. Leave your comments in the box below. Uh, you know I love interacting with you guys. Um, and like I said, man, get used to this fella right here. The homie Big G. Say what's up to the peoples, man. What's up, peoples? Uh, as he's talking about his daily chronicles with his honey <laughs> ends. <laughs> you know how we do, baby. When we make it do what it do, we about to head down here and move some fucking furniture. What up, homie? All right. Getting ready to uh, try these yellow jackets on that we picked up at the Arnold. Uh, so I'm gonna do a review on those later. Uh, as you can probably see, I had some SBD. Actually, I had some Ray-Bans. Uh, but you can see these are hella bigger and they way thicker 
Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and try these out tonight and see what uh, see how these work out. So you guys stay tuned, man. Uh, we getting ready to go ahead and jump on these legs, man. I hope you guys enjoy this again. Thank you uh, for all the love and support. Thank you for everybody that's checked in, man. I hope you guys enjoy this. We about to move that furniture. Cause some problems in here. <laughs> all right, squad. Here we go, man. Uh, Jumping off into this leg session, you all already know it is very imperative and important to warm up your knees. Uh, a lot of you probably don't even know that I do have an MCL injury that I sustained from work in my left knee, so it's important that I also jump on uh, some type of a warm up. Uh, and I typically do warm ups for about 15 to 20 minutes for me. On this, don't obviously lock out your knees, uh, keep your knees nice and soft. Um, don't lock out. Um, that's just really bad news for any for any ligaments. That's bad news for anything in your knee if you already are trying to um, work around an injury. So doing that really isn't giving you any more benefit um, as far as you know strengthening your quads, or getting bigger legs, whatever, whatnot. Locking out your knees is just bad business all the way around. So. Uh, try not to do that but you know get a good progressive weight uh, when you're doing these and you know nice just stay basically what you want to do is just stay in the zone man you know there's a there's a growth zone to everything and what you want to do obviously is stay in that so you can pump more blood into your quads man uh, a lot of you are probably gonna be a lot squeamish now doing leg presses I know I am but um, very important. I put up this video the other day about this that guy that snapped his knee on the leg press machine. Please, guys, please be safe, man. Don't lock out your knees. As you can see here, I got these yellow jackets on. Uh, position yourself properly in the machine. Make sure you push and weight that you can that you can naturally handle without uh, trying to manipulate yourself. And make sure that you stay safe, man. Don't push more than you can, man. Just just don't do it. It's not even worth it. So nice, good compressions, man. Nice, good extension. Obviously, you stop before lockout. And uh, there is a situation that happened here with me and Greg uh, that actually scared me. It was almost as uh, it was almost in the same facet as what happened to the young man on the video. As you can see here, uh, we are progressing up in uh, place. We're getting close to about 11 with 11 plates, uh, and we're going nice and easy. As you can see, even when it's heavy and I lock out. I even slowed it down for you. Watching, you can see there's still a small bend in my knee. There's still a little bounce there, and that is less than locked out. Do not lock out. When you lock out, obviously your knee drops down, and that weight is you're, it's just not built for that, man. So please, please don't do it, man. So as you can see, uh, me and Greg here progressed up to 11 wheels, uh, which is actually a pretty good amount of weight for me. Uh, actually, uh, not, a, not a whole bunch for him. Greg is a super strong guy, man. Uh, but we got into this, uh, we started grinding, and uh, I've done more than 11 plates before, but because I haven't done legs in such a long time, I just decided that uh, it was a good idea. I just decided that it was a good idea uh, to not go beyond 11, and this machine doesn't really hold more than 11 plates. But something happened here, man, with Greg. And I was telling him to keep his behind in the seat. Uh, as you can see, it started pushing him out of the seat and it scared me so much. I actually thought that same thing happened to him, but uh, you can see he's laughing here and whatnot, but it actually spit him out of the seat. Like a, it just shit him out of the seat. So um, be, be careful guys. It was just, I mean, it was not really something that he was planning on, but you know, it was kind of funny cause he didn't get hurt. But uh, all in all, man, uh, we jumped off on that, got our 11 rounds, and he went back in, did his full set, and uh, all was good, man. So don't think that people are impressed by how much you can push on a leg press machine, man. It does help in overall growth on your quads, but it's, it, it, really, the, it, it really does the most for egos. Basically, it's, I mean, again, I'm not knocking it. It's a good machine for growing legs. But don't think that everybody is impressed at how many wheels you can play, you can press on a leg press machine, especially if you're not um, equipped to do a lot. You're gonna end up getting jacked up. So we did our drop sets, uh, we did our full working range sets on that leg press machine and jumped over here on uh, squats. Now, again, I don't, um, I don't like to just jump right into squatting first. Uh, I like to warm up and uh, push my way to the top and then push my way back to the bottom. 
squatting is 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 you know it, for me working in this capacity it, it's because I don't do a boatload of cardio. This gets my cardio in for me uh, because this I, I end up sweating like a cut pig, man. It's just really good for my um, for my core. It's really good for my overall just uh, cardio in general, my stamina, and, it, and this is helping me build my legs back to where they were before. I have uh, never had a great physique when it comes to legs. Uh, so, uh, I really haven't had a problem building them, but I just never focus on them a lot, like a lot of you. A lot of people don't like doing legs. I mean, that's the bottom line. People don't like doing leg work. So, uh, we get over here and we start grinding on the squat game, and these yellow jacket knee sleeves are actually holding up uh, for me. So, I really thoroughly enjoy using those. I'm glad that I bought them the best 60 bucks that I ever spent. Uh, but this is the first time that I've ever gone for 10 reps on 315 and I felt pretty friggin' stroked about this because like I said the knee wraps were working, my knees were warm, I didn't feel anything but my biggest negative about this gym is that this particular rack, they don't have power squatting racks so you know when I go super low the bar hits uh, the safety bar and I don't really like that and it kind of throws me off uh, so th that's, the, that's the only negative that I can say about this particular uh, gym, but as you can see your boy did pull off uh, the 10 reps and uh, Me and Greg are actually going to do a marathon uh, On squatting we'll just do that squat challenge for 10 reps uh, on 10 uh, Sets which will be a hundred reps total on 315. Uh, I definitely cannot wait to get uh, get to that. So uh, I was feeling really good here um, Greg has some some lower back issues just like me, but he fights through them uh, but the guy grinds, he grinds, and he grinds even more. So he's exceptionally strong. And uh, since this video is kind of, it's maybe a, it's a week and a half old, uh, the man is changing his physique a lot. And uh, he's working his ass off. Uh, so we did get it to four or five here. All right, guys. Um, squad game on point tonight. Quick update on these uh, yellow jacket wraps. Uh, a lot of you may or may not know I do have an MCL injury in my left knee. Uh, and for the most part, these are doing, uh, they're doing their part in the, uh, I don't hardly any feel anything to be honest with you. Uh, knees are extremely hot. Uh, and it has a lot of a sprain back. It's like a, it's almost like that, uh, what's that belt that we, that we uh, bench with? The slingshot. It's got that. It's these wraps, uh, knee sleeves actually have, <coughs> excuse me, some somewhat of a slingshot effect to them. Not that it uh, pushes me back out of the slot, you still but can't dunk. huh? I still can't dunk. I know I can't dunk. Shut up, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but it still has that effect, uh, that recoil effect, and that's that's an added bonus, especially for those of us that are trying to recover from knee injuries or that have to work around that. So. Uh, I'm gonna try this 405. I've only I've only only been able to get one to two reps even before my knee injury. So I'm gonna see what I can do. I don't know, but shout out to sling slingshot. Shout out to the yellow jacket uh, for these. Uh, and if they stand up, uh, then I'll put the link in the description box. Uh, but anyway, uh, just a little quick update on that. And you know we had to we had to get our traditional. Made famous by none other than your boy, CJ. <laughs> Let's get that. <laughs> Let's go. All right, guys. So, um, as I said, man, we progressed up to 405. First time, first time in my weight lifting career, so to speak, in the last year or so, that I get this um, 405 for three solid reps. And for me, man, I was a that was a grind. A lot of you guys can can move this kind of weight like it's nothing, like it's 135. But for me, 405, having experienced uh, back surgery uh, years ago uh, and having an MCL injury in my left knee, this is pretty phenomenal for me. Maybe not for you guys, but for me, uh, this is pretty solid, man. And uh, as you can see, Greg just showed out and uh, repped out. 405 for like 35,000 reps and uh, made me feel uh, obsolete again as usual. So anyway, man, um, we uh, got done with that and we went over here to the V-Squat. 
uh, machine to uh, finish out. I did get up to sixth place, but for, uh, this was not uh, recorded because I had a very slow uh, 64 gig, or I actually had a transcending 128 meg memory card in my camera, and come to find out the memory card wasn't fast enough to keep up with the um, data that it was trying to hold, so the camera kept shutting off and giving me a, 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 S, a SD card error, so we couldn't record all of that, but we did finish out the night uh, on this V-Squat machine, which if you guys have one of these in your gym, uh, I'm sure you all love it just like I do. Uh, this is a, this is a great piece of diverse equipment for not only working quads, uh, but but you can do reverse uh, V squats. Uh, you can definitely do some do do some heavy work on your quads, on your hamstrings, uh, and it's just overall this is a this is an overall great uh, muscle building uh, piece of equipment for doing legs. I mean, I absolutely love this machine. Uh, we do have to come down here, which is not out of the way to come to uh, Buttermilk Pike to jump this, to get in on, on this, this this machine, but uh, my other gym down in Florence doesn't have this particular machine, so we come over here uh, to Buttermilk and we jump on this, and like I said, man, I really love this machine, so I appreciate you guys following through with me, man, and thank you for all the love and support, and uh, I, I'm going to grow these legs, it's just gonna, if it kills me, we're going to get there, man, but... We doing more work. I got. I'm trying to train for another show in October. Uh, the support you guys have been showing me has been absolutely phenomenal. I can't say thank you enough. Uh, big shout out to everybody, man. Love y'all like real rap. I love every one of y'all, man. On some real high level shit. So appreciate y'all checking in, man. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Share the video if you like it, please. Hit that thumbs up, man, and leave your comments in the box below. All right, guys, we are finally done. Uh, trying to finish this video up, uh, but this camera keeps acting a fool because my SD card ain't uh, big enough, I guess, or fast enough, actually, to uh, write all this information, so. Too many games. Too many, yeah, it's too many games. <laughs> Is that why I can't record, it's too many games? Anyway, man, uh, <coughs> slowly but surely, man, building this leg game up. Uh, Feeling pretty good about these uh, these knee sleeves. Now I'm not sure if any of you all have tried these before uh, or familiar with them, but uh, these are yellow jackets. And for me to pull off 10 reps uh, on 315 for a first time for me uh, and not have any knee issues uh, after that, I'm feeling pretty good about that. So uh, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up for the most part. We'll see how it goes after one use. Uh, it's probably uh, not the best review, so I had to try it again and see how I feel after. But for the most part, right now, man, I'm feeling pretty, I'm feeling pretty, pretty good about this shit. My knees ain't hurting too bad. Hey, uh, how does yellow uh, jackets work out for you? What? How does yellow jackets work out? Nigga, you heard me just tell them right here. This shit was love. Oh, they work. Cool. This motherfucker don't listen. <laughs> anyway, man. Uh, so we did uh, some V squats. Try to end this off with V squats. <coughs> like I said, I tried to record it, but. The uh, camera started acting up or whatever, so I did get up to sixth place, but I couldn't record the whole shit. But anyway, man, we uh, we will uh, probably next week or the week after, we're gonna do a uh, ten rep, ten set at three fifteen marathon on leg squats. So uh, that'll be pretty epic. We gotta build up to that. So you gotta make sure you carve up for some shit like that. You can't just jump in and go get it. Uh, but anyway, man, I definitely appreciate you guys checking in to this video. Like I said, man, if you like the videos, please leave a thumbs up. And for the most part, man, go ahead and share the video if you don't mind. Get the word out, man, uh, so people can join in and enjoy this, this journey and this footage like everybody else gets to enjoy it. Anyway, man, uh, get ready to wrap this up, man. Like I said, man, thank you guys for checking in. I appreciate it. Got a lot of footage coming for you guys later on down the road. Uh, and uh, again, man, we're trying to get back on that stage. It's coming October, so got a lot of shit in, in the works. Uh, a lot of training, a lot of new tips. Uh, we're just about to go hard in the paint, man. That's what we're about to do. So. so anyway, man, I appreciate it. Thank you guys again. All the love and support definitely does not go unnoticed. Is that mad and bougie? Top. Is that that drop top? Cooking up with a ooze. My nigga's a savage. We got that as a hundred round two.
Kevin the Victorious. No bull, just bump. Baby, shout out to the gym game. Oh, wow. The little boy doing big. <laughs> and I'm out. <laughs>